All right, next up, we are gonna talk about the so, so, so important call to action, right? So you know who you are, you know what you're talking about, now you're doing it consistently and authentically, but now the next step is making sure that when you're posting these things, you are asking for people to do something. You're asking for people to interact, okay? Why this is so important is because you need to know who you're speaking to. The people who you connect to, the people who are following you, you're following them, the people that you're building a relationship with, you wanna keep your eye on them. You wanna note them. Here are some very, very simple tips for call to actions, all right? So with social media, we have really two different realms of call to actions that you can have. First, we have our stories. We have Facebook and Instagram stories as of right now. Um, and then there's posting. You've got things like short videos, like TikToks, Reels, Facebook's getting Reels as well, or like, you know, short video. So in your stories, there are so many different, uh, like buttons and little swipies and polls and, you know, all sorts of different multiple question and answer things that you can do in your stories. To me, your stories is going to be this space where people get to see the behind the scenes. They get to see the nitty gritty. They get to see the mess, the crazy, the beautiful, the travel, the, the, the moving, the this and that. And so <clears throat> you really can do all of your advertising and your business building through so much like visual connection and you will know who's interested by putting up a poll. So if I'm using one of my products per se, or I'm talking about how my business has allowed me to X, Y, Z, I can put a little poll right there and put, I'm interested in more info as to options. People, I can just say, go ahead and vote on this poll if you want more information. And honestly, sometimes I don't even have to say that. People just like get the picture, you know, like people who are watching, they get the picture that there's these two options, so they'll vote. When I go in my stories, I swipe up on my insights, I can see who all these people are and I can go ahead and reach out to them and give them the information that they're looking for and have a conversation, okay? So you can do that in your stories. Um, there's question bars. You've gotta just do a little bit of research and just kind of start messing around with stuff and observe other people to see the fun and creative ways that they utilize that. So now when it comes to things that are gonna be going up on your page, like short videos, longer videos, maybe live, and your stories, you are going to have to tell people to do specific things, give them specific instructions. So if you're live, you can say a comment, hello below, what time is it by you? What's the weather? What, what are you doing today? How are things today? Drop a one, drop a five, drop your favorite emoji. You can give them ways to interact and respond to the things that you're talking to. That is how attraction marketing is created. And now you're ruining relationships with people you've never even talked to yet. So make sure that you're using a call to action almost every single time and instructing people on what to do next, regardless of whether or not it is a post or a live or a story that has to do with your business or not. Always, always keep those interactions coming.